This is big. This is a big thing. And it's life. It's life. If you, if you keep your mind stayed on him, it's life and peace. I urge you to get into the word. Look up all the scriptures that talk about seeking God. And it's an eye. It's an eye opener. Praise God. Because God is diligent to reward those that seek him. And when they seek him with all their heart and all their mind. Praise God. We need to learn how to talk to him. Because there's a lot of things in the world. There's a lot of folks in the world that are that are not seeking him. You know why? Because they don't believe in him. First of all, you've got to believe that God is real. That God exists. In Hebrews 11, 6, that God is. That means he exists. He's real. And that he is a rewarder. Just like Enoch believed that. That he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You know what? Enoch sought him and he got so close to God that maybe one, one day God said, well, we're going to my house today. And guess what? Enoch didn't want to come back. <laughs> and he was not found because he, he went to visit God at God's house. And God took him. Isn't that good? Praise God. Hallelujah. Because he, he had a closeness with God. He walked with him and he sought him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. That is so awesome. To walk with God and then not be found anymore. Decide to go stay with God. Praise God. Hallelujah. That gets me excited. There's some things in the Word that gets me excited. Well, there's a lot of things that gets me excited in the Word of God. Because that Word is, is wonderful. That word feeds us. And you know what? When you read about things like that, about, you know, Enoch and, and those guys and, and, and how they were close to God, how they drew nigh to God and God drew nigh to them and manifested himself to them and, and things just happened. You know what? Your spirit just leaps within you. It's just so exciting to your, to your spirit when you think about that. Think about the things of God. The Bible says draw nigh to God and he'll draw nigh to us. So if you want to have that closeness, that close fellowship, that, that closeness with God, seek him. See, there's a difference between closeness or fellowship and relationship. My husband and I are related. We're husband and wife. But you know what? You can be husband and wife, parent and child, and not have fellowship, not have good fellowship, be at odds with each other. That don't mean you're still not their husband or wife. But that means you don't have fellowship. So have fellowship today with God. Draw nigh to him. Let him draw nigh to you. Seek after him with all your heart. Because your mind is your mind and you can choose what you think about. You can choose what you set your mind on. And the Bible has a lot to say in Galatians about setting your mind on the things of God. About walking in the spirit and not fulfilling the lust of the flesh. Because to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So it's life. And Galatians talks a lot about the law. He said, you know, we're, that, you know, if we're spiritually obedient to the Spirit, then we are not under the law. But see, if you're fleshly, you're under the law. If you're walking in the flesh. But if you're walking in the Spirit, you're not under the law. The law has no hold on you. If you're walking in the Spirit of God, in Christ Jesus, then the law does not have any hold on you. You are not under the law. But if you're in the flesh, and, the, and it talks about circumcision, then 
if you're you're a debtor to the law. But it says, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Praise God. Amen. See, the law is good to those who walk in the flesh. And the Ten Commandments proves that. You know, love the love God, you know, don't steal, don't kill, don't commit adultery. Um, honor your father and mother. That's good to people who are walking in the flesh to tell them to not to do that. But if we're in the we're, if we're walking in the spirit, the spirit of God leads us and guides us. Same principles. But then the Spirit helps us to obey God. 